Hi guys, just checking in. Happy Monday. What a beautiful Holy Week we just experienced. If you missed yesterday's Easter worship service or our sunrise service, they're both still available online. You'll find links to each of them at the end of this video. Scott and I have received a lot of comments and gratitude for the way things went that you felt touched and blessed by this Easter season. And that's wonderful, thank you. Thank you to everyone involved, all of the volunteers that brought all of the events together. We have many more good things coming this week. First on Wednesday for the ladies, we're celebrating the end of the Lenten season and the end of our Torn Prayer devotional books. Please come on out at 6.30 Wednesday night to talk a little bit about the book, but mostly just fellowship together. Please bring your journals if you have them, and even if you didn't do the journal with us, come anyway. This is for all ladies. Don't forget that this Thursday is the workshop available at the Vineyard on Jackson called Creating Your Spiritual Growth Plan. I'm sure all of us have wished at some point that following Jesus came with a simple to-do list. Well, they have their hands on a spiritual growth tool that they've developed that's going to help us identify the next steps in our personal walk with Jesus Christ. And this should help provide practical ways to take action in accomplishing your spiritual goals. Doesn't matter where you're at in your faith or in your walk, it should be something for everyone at that moment. There are a couple of us signed up already. You need to register by Wednesday, but the class is free. And I'll be happy to drive you out there if you need a ride. This Friday night at 6.30 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall is our next hobby night. Those with a craft or project can bring those. Bring your own drink, bring a snack to share, and just enjoy a time of idea sharing, of more fellowship and conversation. We all get to take a break this Saturday, but then Sunday is our carry-in lunch and congregational business meeting. Now, you should have received in your mailbox and through email a copy of all of the leadership team reports. Ordinarily, we would read these at the meeting, but this time we're asking you to read them ahead of time. Be prepared. Prepare your hearts and minds to talk about the things going on in our church. Come with questions or comments about our ministries. And we'll use the extra time in the meeting to talk about the good things that God is doing for us. There'll be a little bit of time for open sharing about blessings, about how we've seen God moving in our church and working in our ministries. It's an important time for the body of Christ to discern together what it is that Jesus wants us to do, what it is that God has been doing, and to vocalize that to each other, to lift one another up and encourage each other. I hope you can think of at least one great thing that God has done in your life lately. Speaking of, praise the Lord, our roof loan has been entirely paid off. That was a five-year loan paid off in two years. So praise the Lord for his graciousness and his provision. Thank you for all of your generosity, for the abundant giving to make that happen. We're certainly a church that doesn't like debt. If you didn't pick up your Easter flowers Sunday, you can come to the church anytime this week to get those. I do see there are some lilies and tulips left. If for some reason you don't want yours, just let us know. We have someone willing to take them. Again, thank you for all of those donations, all left in honor of either a new birth or in memoriam of someone special. Next Sunday evening, we will also enjoy another prayer meeting from 6 to 6.30, and that will meet in the church library or through an audio-only Zoom session. Just contact the church office for that link. I know Mike Mays will be here working, not today, but other days this week on the church parsonage, wrapping that up for Jerry Castleman and his family. So if you'd like to assist, please get with Mike to find out a good time to come. I do want to jump ahead just a little bit to next week and let you know that there is a movie night coming on Friday, April 29th. That's at 7 p.m. It's called All Saints, and it's about a small dying church thinking about closing its doors and a group of refugees that come together and realize that they have something good and work together to plant new seeds of regrowth and renewal. That's based on a true story. So I hope you guys come on out for that. And next Saturday, April 30th, Jeff shared with us yesterday that he is going to be performing some of his original music for us. He's calling it Dinner and Song, so there will be pizza. Then he's going to run through some original pieces of music that he's written, which he plans to take out into ministry, into the community, into nursing homes, or whoever will have him. So consider coming out and showing support for Jeff. Let's come together and help him get his show on the road. Our Bible memory verse this week comes from Psalm 23, verse 6. And it says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What a great memory verse to wrap up with the Easter season. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you on the next one.